Hello and welcome to another weekly property news roundup. News out this week from Dataloft showing a 6% year on year growth in house prices and also a huge 49% increase in transaction levels. Although in March they reported house price growth handbraked a little by 0.2%, so a slight breather there in terms of house prices. On the new build side, uh, Q4 2020 new starts were up 17% year on year. That's the highest number ever recorded. So great news on the uh, new home builders front. Knight Frank also reported some great numbers for March, the highest number of exchanges for a decade and also the highest number of buyer registrations for a decade. So Knight Frank very positive about this market and they do expect this momentum to continue well into the summer. So how's this playing out in the real world of estate agency? Well, there's a company called Cheffins in Saffron Walden in the southeast that recently took on a property that had 18 viewings in 24 hours. Cheffins saying there's a lack of stock and a raft of buyers. Meanwhile, Manning Staten reporting that 99.4% of asking prices are now being achieved. So again, seeing this demand continue in the market, great news for estate agents. Now over to the world of portals and of course the recent launch of Booming, although some people have been slightly underwhelmed by it, including one independent agent called Michael Harvey, who actually called the Booming matchmaker service a Trojan horse into direct sales. So some concerns there already about Booming, but anecdotal and of course there's a long way to go for those guys. Let's see how they get on. We'll certainly be keeping a close eye on it. Speaking of portals, on the market also agreed recently an advertising partnership with Reach that will help give them exposure to up to 80% of the population. So a smart move there by on the market, continuing to drive exposure for their members and doing their bit in the portal world. And finally, a recent survey put estate agents at the bottom of the most trusted professions pile, as we normally do indeed find ourselves, sadly. Only 1% of the public trust estate agents. So a real bugbear of mine personally, I don't think we deserve that kind of distrust and I think actually there's some brilliant estate agencies out there, new ones launching all the time as well and people really starting to pick up the ball in terms of customer service and winning back that trust. It'll be a slow process to turn around the reputation of our industry but I certainly believe we are now on the right path. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.